Financing is a crucial component of virtually every power project, uh, renewable power included, of course. Um, what does the future of project financing for renewable power look like? In the sense of what innovations or trends are being used around the world today, and what models do you see on the horizon? We think that it's extremely important to start looking at how we're going to deal with climate finance in the future. If we take a piecemeal approach to climate finance, where we get X billion, we chop it up into 180 pieces, and we allocate it to different countries, it's going to make minimal impact in terms of uh, decarbonization. If we can use climate finance as leverage for investment in renewables, climate finance that helps us to provide concessional funding that can draw down the cost of private investment, that can create new combinations of investors where risk and uh, capex issues are dealt with. You sort of touched on it in, in your answers now, but can you elaborate on the idea of uh, the flexibility, and, and you've spoken about this elsewhere, the, the importance of flexibility in the, in the grid, I guess, and in terms of being able to manage both demand and supply. I think we're at a point where, you know, we're going to see that the old centralized generation and distribution model of the old utilities for energy is going to go the way of landline telephony. We're going to move rapidly in the direction of digitizing our grids, of creating a net metering framework that can measure energy going in and out of different applications. We're going to have more sophisticated markets for electricity in real time. And we're going to have multiple sources of power generation being balanced by a smart grid that allows both uh, immediate reaction to supply uh, and demand considerations, as well as demand-side management. There's been a relatively steady downward trend in the levelized cost of uh, energy for renewables, uh, particularly wind and solar. Do you anticipate that this will continue in a linear fashion, or is there a potential for a truly dramatic drop in the cost of renewable energy? The, the cost declines that we've seen in the last five or six years have already been pretty dramatic. 80% solar PV, 30% onshore wind. Uh, I think we're going to see continued decline in technology cost, maybe at, not at the rate we've seen before. So the future cost declines are going to come from regulatory reform and reform of financial models rather than from technology costs alone. In terms of technology though, we're going to see things like energy storage, which are going to increasingly come on stream at utility scale at costs that are affordable. We're going to see the advent of technologies like ocean uh, technologies, which are going to start generating power at lower and lower cost in the coming time, providing possibilities for inexhaustible sources of power at low cost in the future.